uh, Mystical Activism by John C. Robson, uh, Transforming the World in Crisis. So, uh, you got three parts. Um, so, understanding our apocalyptic age, that's just like main tile for part one. <laughs> um, Mysti uh, mystical transformation and mystical activism. Um, you got 15 chapters total with an appendix as well. Um, coming home to the sacred. Um, so a bit of information of like the author, uh, why the author wrote the book. Um, the mystic's great vision. So there's five points. Um, one, the cosmos is conscious, awake, aware, welcoming, and constantly unfolding as creation itself, and it continues on. So you're getting like almost like half a paragraph per like point. Preparing to read this book, um, modern creation story, what is spirituality, what is spirituality for, what is mysticism um personal examples so you do get personal examples like throughout the book um part two you get stuff like presence why don't we um see heaven on earth what is divine um what is the divine human and then part three um you see stuff like the great work what is activism the goalless goal of mis uh, mystical activism and for each, you do get a, um, a good chunk of different topics introduced. Um, you do get a few different exercises. Um, developing a daily relationship with the presence. Spirit guides. If I can only find some examples. Sage Wisdom. I don't know where I saw the exercises, but like some of these things you can make into like different types of exercises, whether it be like journaling, stuff to do at home or outward. Um, but not my type of book. This is definitely not my type of book. Um, but it could be for those who do want to take that like either the mystical ass um, road or like that activism road what other what either one that you would want um but yeah um it does have some interesting introductions to a few different things so someone could likely find some um inspiration through this not me <laughs> but um yeah uh, mystical activism Happy readings.